things over Kansas that were very pleasant today. However, we are looking for a new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning. So tonight we are visiting the Nagoya Center. It's a really nice, lot of color. Not of nice, uh, cool to see. There is a TV tower, a little bit looking like a small Eiffel Tower. And there is a big uh, subway station with a uh, water, a lot of colorful uh, light. Uh, it's really nice, very beautiful city to enjoy for skating. And then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guam. pressure set cells behind it. What we do now? Go to sushi shop. Built in 1954, 
is Japan's very first sightseeing tower. The year, the one in 5300 behind for the for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system. And that wide band of fairly heavy snow is now what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there. That begins at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until 2 o'clock this afternoon. So as of that time, of course, the front was way off in the northwest. Now, however, it's moving into the central part of the nation with a couple of high-pressure sex cells behind it. pressure sex cells behind it.